Hi. In this video we will explain the MQTT connection from SysMac controllers with Microsoft Azure by using the IoT Hub resource. We will show this procedure from the Azure portal. First, you should create a IoT Hub resource clicking on Create and browsing for IoT Hub. This will create a resource related to a pay-per-use subscription, so please review the costs before validate. We already got created an IoT Hub resource called ATCOEKPI IoT Hub. Go to IoT Devices and click on New to register a new device. Here, it appears three options for the device authentication. The first option is the simplest, using Shared Access Signature Token, also called SAS Token. It is a unique code provided by Azure to authorize your device to IoT Hub. The SAS token can be obtained from the cloud shell on top or from an external tool such Visual Studio Code plus Azure IoT Hub extension. We will use this option for the demonstration. From this extension, you can manage easily your current devices and generate a SAS token as well. Go to your device and click to generate SAS token for device. Enter a expiration time for your token in hours and execute. A SAS code is shown below in a terminal window and copied to your clipboard. You should use this SAS token as a password on your MQTT login. You won't need to create certificates and upload to controller if SAS token is used. Regarding the connection settings, use the next. For the host name, it follows the next rule, IoT Hub name dot Azure Devices dot net. MQTT port number is 8883. TLS session, same session number than you set by the TLS configuration tool. For the client ID, use the device name you created before. For the user name, use the following pattern. IoT hub name dot Azure dash devices dot net, your device name. API version equals the 30th of June 2018. And about the password, the SAS token you generated before. It is ready to connect. When connected, you can check the connection status from Azure extension. To publish messages, your published topic must follow the following pattern. Devices, your device name, messages, events. To check if the messages are being published, you can monitor the device activity from here. Click on Start Monitoring Built-in Event Point. Messages will appear at the terminal. Thanks for your attention.